Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today. Uh, I'll be unboxing uh, my new Intel NUC. It's a mini PC. And the model number is NUC5, NUC for NUC 5, PPYH. And uh, we can see out here, it has an Intel, Intel Pentium processor, HDMI and VGA ports, SD card slot, and 2.5 SATA drive bay. So I'm also going to be using the Transcend solid straight drive. You can see I've actually uh, screwed it up to a bay, which is a 3.5 inch bay. We won't be needing the bay, I'll be removing the bay. And this is only to show you that this uh, product actually comes with a this solid state drive from Transcend, it's 128 GB, Com includes a 3.5 inch bracket. Only to show you how to include it in the, to the bracket, how to use it with the bracket, just in case you would want to put it in a desktop you need to actually screw it up like so and then you can actually use it we also gonna be using a DDR3L L for low voltage which is 1.35 4 GBs of RAM made in Taiwan okay from Corsair so 4 GBs of RAM and this one has got only one RAM module so you cannot push in two out here so this is the product guys the whole thing cost me um, around 17,000 the whole kit so actually this thing the Intel NUC the mini PC comes without a RAM and comes without a solid state drive now a solid state drive is not a compulsory thing to do but it's always recommended for better performance so let's open it up and let's see the actual product that I've been waiting for since a very long time it's very heavy it's, it seems to be very dense Oh. In fact, it seems like a good uh, kilo. It's really heavy. Mm. So this is the actual product guys. That's the Intel NUC for you. It's got a lot of scratches. Right? It's got a lot of scratches out here, out here. I don't know why. In fact, the box also was... Uh, you know, look at one of the corners. Seems as though it's been taken out at least once. Anyways, so this is the actual product. Okay, this is the base. So we have the uh, two USB ports out here. And we have an HDMI slot out here. 19 volts adapter should go in out here. This is the LAN port, this is the VGA port. This again is the, should be the USB 3 ports. Alrighty. Okay. So have I shown all of the four sides? These are all, uh, you know, heat vents or air vents for the air ventilation. And these scratches seem to be only on the scratch guard. So I think otherwise the product should be okay. And this is for the SD card. Alright. This is called the Kensington lock. I'm not so sure what it actually does. I'll check on that. Alrighty. And this is the audio port. Alright. So let me pull out some more contents. This way up. This seems to be some kind of a stand. You can actually put this Intel NUC behind the, um, uh, you know, the monitor. And this is the stand for that, I suppose. Okay. This is the power adapter. The power brick. Okay. I see what else do we have okay these are various attachments that will work with this for different countries let me just pull them out one by one okay this is a three pin this is a two pin this is a two pin I suppose this should work and or maybe this will work okay and this is a two pin again so for various countries various adapter attachments okay what else do we have should be some screws just as I thought looks like around eight or ten screws I see and these screws should be for the stand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
should be for this. Okay, just keeping it here. This is some typical paperwork. Okay, I don't need to. I don't need to check. Slow down. Just some more paperwork. You don't need the paperwork. And again, more paperwork. So and an Intel sticker. I think this focus on the product, not me. Okay, that's it, and that is it. So just pause the video, and I will just start it. Okay, now I've just inverted it, made it turtle, and I'm gonna remove the four screws out here. You cannot actually pull them out. The way they are designed is you can open them, loosen them, but you'll never be able to completely remove them. I'm sorry, the screwdriver that I have, uh, it's not in a top condition, but it does the job pretty well. Alrighty. And you can see that it actually says front out here. Okay. So, I'm going to loosen them with my hands. Yep, this is loose now. So is this. So is this. And so is this. I'm going to very carefully, you can see it's actually tied up with a cable. Okay, I have to be very careful out here, guys. Yep. Have a good look. This is the motherboard, guys and this is the slot where the SSD will actually go okay and this is the place where the memory should go so at this point Aryan you can actually pause the video start it okay that's okay so this is the 4 GB of DDR3L low voltage 1.35 RAM for Corsair and it will go in this slot guys just can you close up on the motherboard Aryan close up on the motherboard okay now you have to be careful this is there's a notch out here you need to match it with this notch okay easy does it see it's actually I put it in the right place then you need to push it in at the same time you need to press it down so just be a little careful guys I need to be a little careful and it just snaps into place very easily okay now I got to remove these four screws so you can pause it again Okay. Started? Okay. Now I have actually removed the SSD from the bracket, the 3.5 inch bracket. This is only a 2.5 inch, 7 mm uh, SSD, solid state drive. You need to make sure that you need to align these two ports. There is a power port and there is a, there's a data transfer port. And if you look inside, I didn't just take it inside. See, you need to align it. So the smaller one is on the right hand side and the bigger one on the left hand side. So I'm going to slide it in. Uh, it's a, you know, just should snap into place. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's not snug fit actually. Uh, it's a little loose. But I, I, I can now put in some screws now. Okay. You can pause the video again. Okay. Okay guys, uh, now if you want this SSD or solid state drive can actually be screwed from here and from the other side. But I am leaving it for now because you see I have just tightened, I pushed in uh, the SSD a little deeper and it's such a snug fit that there is no need to actually you know put the screws here and on the other side. If you want you can do that, I will do it a little later. Okay, uh, And at this point I am only closing it up. So it says front out here and front should align to the front. So let's put the cover back like so. You know, easy does it. So you can see how easy the assembly was. Wasn't it? Just pause the video. I'll tighten. Okay, I've aligned the screws and uh, let me just tighten them one by one. Just 
just last few seconds guys and we are almost done okay and here we are so the unit is actually assembled right perfect all right guys so uh, this is the power button i'll power it up after i actually attach it with an hdmi cable it seems to be a full size hdmi cable to my monitor and uh, so this 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 concludes the assembly which was uh, super easy guys actually initially i thought it was like a, a kilo i would say it's uh, around 700 uh, grams in hindsight seems to be a very compact unit uh, my unit had a few scratches uh, nevertheless this is all plastic guys this is all plastic i'm actually told the higher end models so this is not the lowest model this is one level higher from that and i'm told the higher end models are actually made of aluminium or metal this exactly is not metal, this is just plastic guys, so this front has to be aligned with the front, this is the front. Okay guys, so I hope uh, you found this uh, video useful, you have a good day and uh, uh, sometime in the future, I'll actually show you how to install Windows 7 or any other operating system. You have a good day, bye bye, peace.